Hello and welcome. This is a quick tutorial on how to set up a Google account. You'll want a Google account for several reasons. Number one, we're going to set up a Google Places page. Then we're going to set up a YouTube account and your Google Analytics account. You can also use uh, your Google account to set up things like Google Plus, but for now, we just want to go concentrate on setting up the main Google account. You'll use this one account to log into everything. Let's get started. What you'll want to do is in your web address browser, key in accounts.google.com forward slash sign up. You can type the HTTPS and the colon and the forward slashes if you want to, but usually it'll work without it. If it doesn't, then input the entire address. Then you'll want to go here and complete the simple form, your first name and last name, and then choose a, a username. And it can be your name at gmail.com or it could be your business name at gmail.com. It's usually a good idea to, to use your business name or your company name at gmail.com. And then create a password twice to confirm it. Uh, enter your birth date and then of course male or female your mobile phone number is optional uh, it's a good idea uh, if you want to use your mobile phone number related to business uh, otherwise you don't have to and enter an alternate email address for Google to get in touch with you in case there are problems with your account and then you'll want to enter the Captcha text. This text, this text lets the search engines know, or the the uh, programming on the page know that you are an actual person and not a computer. And of course, enter your location and agree to Google's privacy terms and services. Uh, be sure and read it, and then you'll get the opportunity to go to the next step. Once you are inside Google and you have your account, then stay logged in and you can go to the Google Analytics page, you can go to the YouTube page and you can set up those accounts as well. And that's all there is to setting up a Google account. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next tutorial.